Okay, so you've got your new iPad, but you've previously purchased apps and music and perhaps a movie in iTunes before for a different device. The question is, how do you get them onto your new iPad without having to hook it up to a computer and all that? Well, there's a very simple way. It's new as of about five months ago. App Apple added the feature of a purchased section. So since you're logged in under your iTunes account, you simply go to the App Store, in the case of apps, I'm going to click down here. You can't see my finger. And it'll open to this featured section, but you're looking down here at the bottom where it says purchased. I'm going to tap that. And just that quickly, it's going to send a message to iTunes. Okay, show me all of the apps Mark has previously installed. Now I can, I've got hundreds, so I wouldn't want to browse by hitting these buttons, although I could. If I'm looking for a specific app, I go up to the search bar, and I'm going to type in one called Cubby, because I know it's in there. Hit search on the keyboard. And just that quickly, it's going to take me to that app where I can then hit the download button, which is a cloud with a down arrow. So I'm going to poke that. It says installing. Now I could return and install some more, or I could go see where it's installing by hitting the home button. And just that quickly, it's already installed Cubby. It happens to be a small app. Some some will take longer. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I held it down, held my finger down on Cubby till it wiggled. Now I'm going to hit the X, and I just deleted it. Get out of wiggle mode. How do I do it? Hit the home button. Okay, so that's how you download previously purchased apps. So let me show you a couple of the tricks with that. Let's go back to the App Store. Here in the purchase section, this is showing us showing me all apps. Well, if I just want to see the ones that are not already on this iPad, which you'll want to do eventually, just click this button over here. Now it will only show you apps that are not already installed. Notice too that you can install iPhone apps. And uh, they just are smaller, but you can double them in size and they work just fine on an iPad. Okay, now for music or movies, we use not the App Store, but we use iTunes. And I have mine hidden in this little media group. Here's the iTunes icon, and it works almost the same way. Down here at the purchased section, we're going to go there. But then in order to get movies or music or TV shows, look up to the left corner. It says View Music. I'm going to change that to View Movies. Okay, and after it does a little search, okay, it's, it's asking itself, what has he purchased or downloaded in the past and up they pop. Now of course movies are huge files, I'm not going to download one here but it works the same way. Okay, If I want to download uh, Dr. Strangelove and How I Learned to Love the Bomb, I can click this little down arrow just like I did with the app. Okay. Same thing with not on this iPad. You can narrow it down to just what's not there already. Okay, so that's how you download music, movie, and TV shows. And again, the App Store works the same way through that purchased button, and away you go. Okay, have fun and download those pre purchased apps without having to buy them again.